live from the center of new media at Northland Community and Technical College. Yeah, it's us, the Tuesday Night Experiment, back in full effect for another great hour on Pioneer 90.1 FM KSRQ. Yeah. Radio Northland.org, we did have uh, somebody picking up some roller derby tickets. All right. Yeah. Yes, Allison called in and said she wanted a piece of that action. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. Well, Allison just wants one of the derby girls land in her lap. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Are you we, sure that's what you want? Maybe she might even hop over the railing and say, hey, I can take all you ladies on right now. Open challenge. <laughs> Open, Open challenge. challenge. <laughs> yeah. But, but what it sounds like, I don't think she's one that's going to make competition out of that. But, you know, okay. it's, it's, yeah. good, it's good yeah. to think about. Well, it, she better put up her dukes. Because it's a wild <laughs> night. Yeah. The, this Saturday that's night, right. about to remember at the Alaris yeah. Center. Doors open 530. Sounds like a fun night. So it's a big shindig to help uh, needy kids that can't afford stuff for the prom. So yeah. you'd be right yeah. over there then, right? That'd be, that'd be Blind right. Dog's uh, <laughs> the I'm, charity to Blind Dog I'm here. I'm going to go there in my moo-moo. <laughs> hey, you know what? We're going to open up this hour at 8.04. It's uh, 34 degrees. Thief River Falls. Not too shabby out there oh, still. Yeah, it's not freezing nice. yet. No, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my zip down. I'm wearing my hoodie. I, yeah. I, I, I got rid of the, the winter coat for at least a couple of days. It's going to get a little bit cooler by week's end into the weekend. But mm-hmm. it's supposed to hit the 20s again by Monday. So I'm not yeah. really going to complain. No, and, of course, I got my Florida trip countdown coming, too. So <laughs> next week, we're going to take it easy. We're going to take the week off. We're going to do a best of. Oh, think, okay. We've been running strong the last couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, we have, yeah. I think we've been doing quite well for ourselves. Good month and a half straight about, yeah. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Do, we'll play but a couple of How many shows now is this, Frankie? This is 12? number 12. Hey, 12. you knew it before I did. Yeah. Right. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, because after 11, it comes 12. And then uh, in two geez. weeks, it'll be 13. That, that Greenbush education I, that, Yeah, I think this guy off. went to Greenbush, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think he went to Thief River or somewhere, oh, or Goodrich, yeah. or Gatsky, or wherever. Gat, Bob, <laughs> Plumber. Begley, I don't know. Whatever. Yes, I'm Glenn Broggett. <laughs> That's Frank. Sugar Sean. Yeah, don't call yeah. me Frankie. Sassy Sassy yeah, Pants. Yeah. Sassy Pants. <laughs> whatever. Jumping Jack Sassy Pants. The Great Pass. One, the People's Champion, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> the biggest mark for himself that there's ever have been. And Blind Dog, he's, he's just, just rocking, a Blind Dog. He's rocking just, back and forth again. He's like yeah. that Eagle song. He's just busy being fabulous. That's <laughs> <laughs> It's our it's our white Stevie Wonder here. Anyway, oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> and you know what, Blind Dog was uh, before we went on the air. You know, we usually sit and talk about what's going on with the world. You know, yep. what's going on with the pop culture thing. Uh-huh. Blind Dog said, "I got a story that I think is going to be prime real estate for the second hour." Oh boy! What we were talking about it, and I got a copy. He's got a copy. I don't have. I have copy. to agree. Well, it's in the mail. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you. This is good stuff from Fox News, All man. Right. Yeah, because we follow Fox News. Yeah. It, it is. It is our. We're no longer sorry, fair and I, balanced. I follow MSNBC. No, I'm just kidding. Are you, are you <laughs> bummed out that that one guy that Keith did Doberman? Cut, yeah, are you bummed out that he's gone now? I could give a flying son of a cracker, I tell you. Son I, I kind of cracker. like this show. <laughs> yeah, I like Keith Oberman. I used to watch yeah. him. He was on SportsCenter. I heard something. he was yeah. gone. But, but that's beside the point. Yeah, we, got, yeah. we got a story from the Blind Dog. Uh, tell yeah. us from uh, News Central over here, Blind Dog, our ace cub reporter. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to just kind of paraphrase this, man. Uh, so Billy Ray Cyrus He's making news Oh yeah He's scared for daughter Miley he's, Says Hannah Montana Destroyed my family Destroyed my family <laughs> My family oh, My <laughs> wife Tish uh, He's got a new uh, write up coming up in GQ Now what's, uh, it, what, what's them letters mean for? The, Gen- <laughs> gentlemen's quarterly <laughs> uh, Let's see here uh, he goes on by saying, uh, talking about uh, Miley's 18th birthday party in L.A. Uh, Cyrus said, uh, you know, it was in a bar. I didn't want to go because she was having her twenty or 18th birthday in a bar, and there was all 21-year-olds in that bar. If I had my way, we would have done it in Kentucky at a, a legal still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be boozing up a little moonshine on there. Yeah. So uh, heads up for that. Uh, uh Wade sounds right here, just from uh, kind of skimming through this whole article from Fox News. Sounds like Billy Ray is a deadbeat dad. So, no, not at all. Do you, oh. do you realize the cost of hair care products? That's <laughs> right. 2011. Look at this hair. You can't move this thing. Uh, you know, Windstorm can't move that. I get those industrial fans out there, but you get in front of them, my hair doesn't move a muscle. I think uh, Billy Ray uses Aquanet. <laughs> Aquanet, or aqu- Aquanets for petty commoners. Or Aquamelva or something. Yeah. Anyway. I haven't used Aquanet since my pre-achy-breaky days. <laughs> so 
Oh, uh, Billy Ray, yeah, he's just, uh, I don't know, it sounds like he's just trying to get a little write-up time there on Fox News. I got a brand new record It's going to drop here. It's going to blow your minds. Yeah. Now, why is GQ picking him up? I, I just don't it's understand. It's the hair, that. dude. <laughs> It is. It's got to be. And you know what he said? He said he didn't. T- he was not her manager. He didn't take a dime from her. Oh, yeah. He calls the other people that uh, represent her, uh, being that she was underage, they call her, call them handlers. He's scared for her, though. So yeah. A lot of people around her is putting her, put her in a great deal of danger. Mess with trouble, mess with trouble. I just want to I want to get her sheltered from the storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, How I, hillbilly hick is that? I, I think I, I hear a new song in the works there. Oh, keep her sheltered from the storm. I'll keep my mouth sheltered yeah. from the storm. <laughs> like my extramarital affairs down yeah. there in Tennessee. So, so he's done. Yeah. So he is done uh, blaming his uh, blaming Brett Michaels for breaking up the marriage. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Like he slept with with uh, his wife. His strange wife now, Tish. <laughs> well, mean, yeah, yeah. He's you know, it's problem stem from the huge success of the Hannah Montana brand. You know they weren't complaining. When this, when it was all sweet and innocent in the beginning, yeah. they were raking money. He had that short-lived reality show for yeah. a while. And Daddy's was, bank account started hitting triple digits. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he made yeah. he recouped all his achy breaky money, <laughs> <laughs> and then he had that stupid song about wanting his mullet back. Maybe I should look for that song. Hey. Oh, I mean, I mean, we're already in in the knee deep into some uh, <laughs> BRC. Slauson, he was going off. He yeah. was talking about, oh, Bill, what about that Trail of Tears song? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking Jeez, about, man? It's on Dude, there. When you I know, was just... working in country radio, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even play that song. I don't even know what it's all about. Well, we should give it a listen. Uh, you'll find out, you know? Oh, man. I just know Achy Breaky and uh, what's that other one? Uh, it could have been me. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. That's oh, it. Oh, dude. You know, just because the gods don't smile on you, I found I found the song. Open. Uh, here Here's another go. one from the Bill Rice Hirons back catalog. Oh, yeah. It's went all the way up to number 78 on the top 100. <laughs> well, it's no burning down the trailer parts, but... <laughs> I like the echo on his voice. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Was he trying to be Kid Rock? Yeah. Next American badass, Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's got to be the funniest thing for Slauson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put that in the best of? <laughs> I say we got to do some type of best of of our comedy, I tell you. Not just some interviews, uh, but of comedy. I would just like to say Billy Ray's ripping off another band here in this song. Yeah. Sounds an awful like the Georgia Satellites and keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I, was yeah, yeah. I found another one here. Remember when I played a okay. good cover of Michael Bolton last week? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Here's I'll another cover of Billy Ray Cyrus. This is from his Some Gave All debut. Oh, wow. I'm taking on Nancy Sinatra here, man. And it doesn't all sound girdly. Oh, yeah. You keep you KSRQ. Slauson's up there doing a two-step to a new step. <laughs> two-step. Remember that, remember that song, Romeo, with Dolly Parton and Billy Ray was in it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Stepping high, stepping low. I think of that movie with uh, uh, Rhinestone with uh, Sylvester Stallone and Dolly Parton. <laughs> Let Billy Ray have his moment. Uh. <laughs> Uh, was that Nancy Sinatra or whatever yeah. did that song? So now he's got to pay her royalties. She's, you honestly think she wrote that song? <laughs> <laughs>